Hello friends, welcome to Java EE JSP tutorial. Here we are going to use the JSTL tag to form an if condition. So the same way like our previous example we are using the tag lib from JSP JSTL core prefix C. So after that we are opening a body tag inside so we already saw this using C set we declare a variable called num1 with value 10 scope is a page scope that means that this variable can be accessed inside this page and if you see this time we are using the c if so this is the tag we are using so far we know c set and we know the out tag under this c prefix so you can put any prefix say for example if you put the prefix as core then instead of C here we have to use core colon set right okay so now let's come back here we are using the core tag if then the tag if you look at here this is simply the whatever prefix you give that will come here C colon if test attribute equal to so here if you place true then whatever you place here that will get executed that means you have to end this if with the c colon if so this body will get executed when this evaluates to true similarly if you see uh, so the test should be the attribute name you have to use so you, if you use something else it won't work so the attribute is a test the test attribute if it is holding the value true then the body portion of this tag will get executed so here test equal to what we are doing we are using the dollar symbol we are accessing our variable greater than 5 if you see here dollar okay here we are not only accessing the variable we are forming an ex expression this expression will evaluate to true or false because the operator here is a uh, comparison uh, comparison operator greater than less than equal to not equal to all the stuff you can use so this is what called an expression why because the expression is formed using the binary operator binary operator operates on two operands one is num1 here the other operand is a constant actually we are doing a conditional check here this will evaluate to true or false so when it evaluates to true we have a test equal to true that means we are setting the attribute test equal to true so if that is the case then body will get executed so here the body is num1 is more than 5 that's what we are printing you can print whatever you want so this is one way of using the if condition now let us look at the second way the same way we are using c if test equal to again same but here if you see we are using uh, one more attribute where equal to is high so the so here you can see we are closing this and here if you see see if we are not closing it we place a body after that we are closing that so when can this attribute set to true it will execute the body but here 
we don't have any body but we are setting the condition output inside a variable so the variable is is high all right now we are coming here some html content text that means you can this is just to tell that the is high will now hold a value true previously the condition is evaluated and that is assigned to the attribute test right so we saw this tag will execute the body when the attribute test equal to true so we the output we assigned it to test but here if you see test we are actually assigning the output to the variable just like here but here we are saying where is high also so the is high will also hold true or false so after some point in time if you see if we are using this tag if tag test equal to this time we are using this variable content so the, we know that this variable is high now i mean the variable is true now so to the test attribute we are passing the content of this so that means this will assign true here so we know that value 10 is greater than 5 so that is already assigned here as true now when we are assigning this to test test attribute will have true so we are executing the body here so the second method will be useful uh, inside the jsp file you can refer this variable many times so as many times you want you can refer and if you see here this is an expression sometimes the ex expression may go complex also like uh, uh, the test may be under the if condition test equal to uh, dollar some expression and some more expression and some more expression some complex expression you may form so we no need to uh, re-evaluate this expression uh, n number of times so suppose if this expression is called some seven times inside a uh, jsp page instead of using this method you can use a temporary variable and the next time onwards you no need to evaluate the expression you can simply assign the content of is high to this test and you can directly make your decision all right now it's a demo time so in the previous video we created this file now we will go new jsp file we will choose 08 JSTL if condition so we are simply using JSP with the HTML markup let me click finish so now we will place the first uh, statement to tell JSP that we are going to use the uh, JSTL core library and we will name that with a prefix C so as already explained in the slide we will place our body content so these are all already explained in the slide uh, all right now we will directly execute it no more further explanation is required here we will go for uh, full publish undeployed waiting for the deploy to happen so deployment is done now we can run our second example So it tells num1 is more than 5, num1 is more than 5, you can see how the if condition is executed here because value is 10 which is a greater than 5 so num1 is more than, so this evaluates to true right, now our test equal to 
true next we will come here and say some html content some html content then we are making use of this is high again test equal to is high then we are printing s high now let me do three add and remove so now the condition will evaluate to false here the attribute test will be set to false and we won't see num1 is more than 5 and the same goes true for here also so all we see is some html content text so we'll start the server so it started and at this time you are seeing only some html content text so this one is from our previous run since we had a value 3 the condition failed here i mean test attribute is set to false since it is test attribute is false our jstl library won't execute the body here then here we are making use of the variable is high and is high is holding a value false and the test attribute is set with false the java standard tag library won't execute the body here so this is how they formed the if condition so the key here is the attribute name so it's not like you can put anything here ash if uh, some tag equal to like this you cannot check so it should be the attribute and that attribute name should be test all right that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye